All right, so we showed you how to create damage case to-dos and how to log them from the mobile phone. Now I wanna talk about why you should use that and how it's gonna be beneficial to you. So let's take a couple of examples. We'll take a, a real small one and then a bigger one. Let's say that you accidentally, your crew or your technician accidentally breaks something small while they're doing reoccurring maintenance. Now in a lot of situations, you're on the property before the customer is even there, especially if it's a residential situation. You might be, let's say if you're a lawn service company, mowing while the, the customer is not on the property, they're at work. Or even if you're a residential cleaning company and you're inside the property working, the customer is not always there with you. So by having your crew, or your crew leader rather, log that damage case, you now know about that damage before the customer even arrives on their property in that one scenario. So what that's going to allow for, it's going to allow somebody in the office to preemptively call and speak with that customer and let them know that, hey, we accidentally broke this while we were on your property. Just let us know how to replace it or if you just would rather us deduct it from your next service or give you a credit or whatever. You have preemptively contacted them to let them know that that happened. Now think about how much better of a customer service experience that is than you getting home from work, you've had a long day, you get inside and you see that there's a vase broken and you didn't hear anything from the cleaning company, a note wasn't left, and I'm just using cleaning as an example, this can be any industry, but no note was left, you weren't contacted in any way. And so now you're feeling like, okay, did they know that they did this? Um, why didn't they say anything to me here? Were they trying to cover it up? And now all of a sudden some questions are arising and it's, it's just not as good of a customer service experience as actually hearing about it from a manager, from somebody that I would feel comfortable knowing that they're handling, that they're dealing with it. So that's situation number one was something real small like that. Situation number two is if something gets broken or there's property damage that is really large and it's going to require multiple steps to get that, that damage conflict resolved there. So let's just say that you're on a property and something breaks like an expensive bench. You're running your mower across it, you accidentally nick it and it breaks the bench and it is a pretty pricey item, valuable item. So with a situation like that, there's probably going to be multiple calls, probably all the way from the owner to the operations manager, speaking with this customer, trying to resolve this issue. You might even have to make a purchase order yourself to replace the item. If it's something that you or your company, in fact, works with. If you accidentally damage something that you yourself installed, now you have to make a purchase order related to that damage. And so having your damage case logged in your to-dos now allows you to go into that to-do and create child to-dos. So telephone calls, they're all gonna be logged from that one damage case. And so now if you're going back and looking at the customer's history and their timeline, you're going to see all of the steps that were required to resolve that conflict. So you have better records there. So those are just a couple of things that you can do with your damage case reports now just to let you know where that's going in the future as well as far as our, our development goes in Service Autopilot, what we're doing. Um, we're working on a employee scorecard that actually currently is, is calculated by some other things that we, we didn't talk about in this feature um, release video, but eventually damage cases will play into that employee score as well. And so year in and year out when you're doing employee evaluations and you're trying to figure out how much money certain employees are, are costing you or how they're, how they're performing. And if you want to give them bonuses or raises or, or, or whatever, or maybe even have grounds for termination, then you'll have that information in the employee record as well. Like I said, not all of that is available currently as far as the employee score, uh, score goes, but that's coming down the road. And so that functionality will be there for you as well. So again, just Another feature, it's a little bit more advanced. There's nothing that says that you have to right off the bat start using this, but once you start feeling a little bit more comfortable with the, the main functionality in the system, start to take a look at damage cases because chances are you're logging this information already, but it's not in one cohesive system. So if you can just move that one other thing into Service Autopilot, 
perhaps that eliminates another system for you. It eliminates a spreadsheet and it puts it all into one place for you. So take a look at it. Let us know if you have any questions about it. Thanks for watching.